Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Come On Shine. So today this video is about Shakespeare's historical tragedy or drama Julius Caesar. And I have already made videos on Shakespeare's other famous tragedies like Macbeth, Othello and Hamlet. And I will provide link in this description box so you can go and check it out. Now let's get started with the play. Basically, this drama is based on true events of Roman history. It was published in 1623rd. The setting of this drama is in the Rome. So the time period of the play is 44 BC. When there was not proper politics at Rome, there was a kind of free democracy. And the tragic hero of this play is Julius Caesar, who has recently defeated Rome's co-ruler Pompey. And in the course of fight, Caesar went to Egypt and there he saw Cleopatra. And this event uh, has direct connection to Shakespeare's another tragedy, Antony and Cleopatra, which I'm going to make another video on this. Okay, leave it. Let's get a start. Okay, come to the point. So Caesar finally defeated Pompey and it was said that Caesar will be the new ruler of Rome. Everyone was thinking like this. Then Caesar went to meet the mob. So a soothsayer or fortune teller said him that on, that on 15th of March you have to be very conscious about yourself because that day your life will be in danger. But Caesar ignored it. So this was the tragic hero. This was the story of tragic hero. Now we will talk about the villain. So there are three major villains. Cassius and Casca. After that, Brutus also joins them. And these three were also in the mob. Everyone was praising Caesar. But Cassius went to Brutus and said that Caesar should not be the ruler of Rome. Free democracy is good for Rome citizen. Actually, this Cassius was very clever man. And Brutus also didn't want any ruler for Rome. He, also thinking, he was also thinking that free democracy is good for Rome. Meanwhile, Casca also joins them, but he said, Just now, Antony offered Caesar the crown, but Caesar refused this. But Cassius said that one day surely he would be Hector king, means bad king. In short, it seems uh, 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 by their uh, conversation, it, it seems that they wanted to kill Caesar, but they didn't speak it up openly. Actually, Cassius was knowing that Brutus is a nice guy. He always thinks the goodness and advantage uh, for Rome's citizens. But for killing Caesar, I need to convince Brutus. Cassius was thinking like this. So for this, Cassius wrote a fake letter uh, to create r rumor that Rome public don't, uh, don't like Caesar at all. And went to Brutus and showed that letter. And somehow Brutus also believed this rumor and in between Cassius made a gang of those people who were against Caesar. And all of them decided to kill Caesar and it started making plans that how they can bring Caesar to death, how they can kill Caesar. Okay, they decided that tomorrow when Caesar would enter to the capital, they will kill him at that point of time itself. Okay. And next morning, when Caesar was going out of his house, Calpurnia, his wife, started requesting that, please don't go out today because I had a nightmare about your life. Please don't go. On this, Caesar laughed and said, nothing would happen to me. Then she bowed down to her knees and requested. And Caesar then agrees to stay at home. Now, Decius a man from Cassius' gang came to Caesar's house and calling him to come to the Senate. At first, Caesar rejects, but then he goes with him because Decius said that, What are you doing, Caesar? You are following your wife? Senate member would laugh at you. You are a man. Be a man. Come with me. By listening this, Caesar went with him and without any delay, they killed Caesar. But... At the time of uh, death, uh, he saw Brutus was also with them. Caesar was shocked and said, At you, Brutus. After his death, they became panic. 
means uh, the killers became panicked that what would happen to them after this uh, and in front of public brutus gave a speech that whatever they did was right it is done for the benefit uh, for the benefit of rome but after his speech antony went to mike and said to the people that you forgot that how much sacrifices caesar did for you for this country for this uh, for citizen of rome and so many things he said and by his speech um, uh, actually antony's this speech made people so aggressive that now caesar has died what will happen to the country people became so aggressive and cassius and brutus thought that it will be dangerous for them so uh, they ran away from there then antony and octavius together announces battle against brutus and cassius and in this battle brutus and cassius killed themselves because their army uh, was killed okay um they they felt that they will uh, now lose uh, the battle so they killed themselves at the end and at the time of death brutus realized that whom he supported a knave man cassius and then died but at last antony came to brutus dead body and said only this man died literally for the country and the play ends here this was the short summary and i hope you understood it properly if any confusion is there please comment down below i'll meet you in my next video antony and cleopatra okay uh, till then take care bye keep loving literature please like share subscribe